Another sinkhole has opened up in East Tennessee. This one is in Morristown, and you can see it's just about swallowed up a tennis court at the country <laughs> club there. That sinkhole comes as we are still looking at the impact of a massive hole that is in North Knox County. And 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan is live at that scene in Powell where crews are facing to fill that hole before more rain comes. Cole. Yeah, Ron and Brandon Cruz have been out since about 345 this afternoon. They've been pouring concrete and shot rock into the hole, trying to stop it from getting even bigger with rain in the forecast. And it's already pretty big, about 60 feet deep, 30 feet wide. And that huge hole got us thinking, how do sinkholes form in the first place? It's taken a long time for the sinkhole to look like this. It could have been forming over a thousand years or more, or 10,000 years even. Dr. Robert Hatcher is a geologist at UT. He says the rain last week could have been the last straw, causing the earth to swallow Greenwell Road. Sinkholes form in regions where you have limestone. Limestone eroded by groundwater is to blame. The uh, material simply gets uh, carried away in the uh, underground drainage there. If a sudden hole 60 feet deep is tough to wrap your head around, maybe a mini science experiment will help. Inside this cup is a simulation of what the ground in East Tennessee looks like. It's got earth and dirt and rocks represented by sand, and inside it has sugar. The sugar represents limestone. It dissolves faster in water than the dirt. Okay. That's, a, that's a great, great analogy there, I think. You got this. Okay. It's done it totally work. Fourth time's the charm. And just like the sinkhole, when the limestone is gone, the earth simply gives way. And that's how a sinkhole forms. But once the uh, support is removed from below, it collapses and forms a, an, an analog sinkhole. The same concept is what happened here in Powell. It doesn't have to have a trigger. And he says it could happen a lot of places in East Tennessee. A place where there's going to be a sinkhole form, you really can't tell much. <gasps> a simple concept that can have a gigantic impact. And it's not just a gigantic impact. You can see crews out here moving rocks into that hole right now as we speak. It's also a big chunk of change for the county. A county road commissioner says that it's going to be about $100,000 to get it repaired. They're already in a, asking for emergency solicitations from vendors to try to see who can fix it fastest. If all goes well and there's not too much rain, they're hoping it will be filled and this road will be reopened sometime early next week. For now, live in Knox County, I'm Cole Sullivan, 10 News. All right, Cole, that's 60 feet deep hole. That thing is huge.